What's going on, everybody? We have not done any hobby news in a very, very long time. I know a lot of you guys tell me at the shows, need to get back to the roots of this stuff. So we're going to start talking about different things throughout probably the next few weeks, and then we'll just start letting the stuff filter back on through. A lot of this, in my opinion, hopefully very quick videos. We'll try to stick to one subject only per video. So today's video, Panini Redemptions. Looks like there's going to be a big pack out. So if you've been holding redemptions that have been redeemed, you know, through your Panini account, not, oh, I'm going to go open up some like 2010 Panini and pull some expired redemptions. No, 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 no. These here you have to already have in your account. So from 2010 to 2019, and they're between $10 and $15, soon you'll be receiving Prism Sparkle Packs in their place. Yes, it is basketball. So, oh, it's holding basketball card redemption. So, basketball card redemptions from 2010 to 2019. If you're going to say at the beginning, between $10 and $15, you'll get some of the real pretty, sparkling Prism Sparkle packs in your place. I mean, if you really think about it, if they're valuing a redemption at $10 to $15, this is not a bad deal at all. It's not like them saying that you have, oh, who's been redemptions a lot recently? Luca. Luca's been a redemption in a lot of products that I've seen. That your Luca, you know, it's worth like five to seven hundred dollar auto. You're not just gonna get one Prism Sparkle Pack for it. It's gotta fall in these categories. Just looking down at it and stuff like that here it gives you you got the blue, the gold, and the green. So numbered out eight, out twenty-four, and one forty-four. Not too bad. I mean, it gives you something to do, and you know, somebody's gonna be out there gobbling them up as soon as they come in, get them on eBay type deal. But like it says here, it's time for the pack outs. It looks like they're trying to start to clear out a lot of these very, very old redemptions that are just sitting around. Player never signed. And they just want to get some compensation out there for it, basically. Not a bad idea offhand. I mean, it eliminates all the cheap ones out there and lets them continue focusing probably on the more expensive ones to get done. But we'll see how it goes. I don't know how many people out there, if you guys have a lot of this stuff in the comments section, it's, it would fit this criteria. You know, always comment in the video saying, hey, I just got some sparkle packs in finally for this. I got 10 for, you know, these 10 redemptions. Just gives people an idea on this stuff like that out there. To me, I think it's pretty cool on this one here because they put a price range up here to begin with of what they're looking to clear out and what you're getting in return for it. Pull yourself a Banchero out of it. You know, Jalen Williams, another name on there. Keegan Murray. I, I know I'm forgetting a few of them. Um, uh, Holmgren. Jaden Ivey. There's some decent ones out there that you, you know, you start fetching these golds, greens, and blues and stuff. It might get you a couple bucks back on to and get your money about to go buy something else. All right, guys. That is it for this video. I am out. See you next one.